Hello everyone and welcome back to um, huh, to what may be the end of the Kalrathi here with this invasion fleet. Uh, I have now moved our colony ship from the planet that I wanted and I'm going to try and colonize this planet here. It does have the hostile fauna so I'm going to need to send a troop transport but right now there's kind of this, this big uh, threat right there and I need to send my troops kind of around here. So yeah, that's happening. Uh, let's send these guys over here. And it's attacking. That's a longbow, right? Sorry, freighter. <laughs> Private shipyards at Rothy one. Okay, very good. Very good. Alzebu one. Keep making the uh, maybes. How many maybes do we have? We have ten. I think we have a couple of colonies making them too. Uh, we'll do that. Let's see, one turn. Okay. We're going to be crushed. I think our longbow... Do our longbows outrange them? Oh, jeez. we got to get in close to actually see there. This thing. Oh, I don't remember your range. I guess the range is right there. Oh, man. Oh, those are an escort freak. These are different. Now they look to be about loaded. Uh, no, they're slightly different. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, the longbow, you're already in range. So we'll just kind of put you in the back. The rapture. Actually, all of you are in range because you all have mass drivers. I'm going to try and focus fire. <laughs> These maybes, though. Um, Jeez. Okay. You guys hold position and just sit there and fire mass drivers. Everyone else, no, you need to you need to keep moving there, buddy. I guess I gotta change that in the schematic section. Okay. Oops. Focus your fire on that. Launch your fighters. Can I just like double click and select them? Can I shift click and select multiple? There we go. I wonder if there's an upgrade to get like bombers instead of fighters. That'd be pretty cool. All right, you guys go. Attack. God, those things are so fast. Yeah, we destroyed one. Yeah, keep focus firing.
I need better engines so these ships can turn better. Or turn faster. They don't really have any armor, they're all about the shields. That ship's, that ship's dead? We're doing it! Those fusion beams! Look at that, our ships are holding out too! Although, maybe we've lost a couple of frigates. Not sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that didn't that wasn't bad at all. Um Oh, man, I was like, I'm going to have to do this all over again. The game's crashing. What's going on here? What the hell? Okay. So the Shankinator got two kills in that one. Nobunaga's Fury got two kills. Longbow, generic Longbow got one. A Fang got a kill. What? Look at all these. What are these? Silver Coins of Defense. Gain plus 10% damage when fighting inside friendly territory. Oh, that's awesome. And like, we all got that. Huh, we got a purple heart. Look at all these medals. Gold Star of Valor. Provides minus 10% damage received reduction. Upgrades or replaces the Silver Star. The Marksmanship one, which gives us increased damage. Silver Eagle. Fighters from this ship gain 10% damage. Oh, sweet. The ship gains double XP. 20% to all weapon damage. Oh, yeah. We just crushed them. Their weapons looked scary. They did like 3,000 damage a shot. But we did it though. Yeah, we did. What is this? When the master ships were destroyed, they left behind a container that seemed completely unharmed. Not a single scorch mark or even scratch can be found on the container, and yet it opened easily when our team retrieved it. Inside they found 500 BC. How bizarre. We'll take it. All right, so now let's go down to that anomaly. That wasn't that wasn't bad at all. All right. We still have eleven Corvettes. You can now just stay up there. That's okay. I made another longbow, I think. Yeah. You'll just stay in that system. have another longbow. I'll put you two together. On El Zebu 1 has inspired the ship. Oh, okay. Private shipyards at El Zebu. Way out there. Oh, uh, yes. Confirm. We can start colonizing it. Now we need to send down the troops to. I'll be quiet. Infantry base, star base, bank, that, that, that. Okay. And how many do we need to send here? That's not it. Hostile fauna. Four troops. Wait. Oh, here we go. We can just send these four. Excellent. Did they? Uh, come in the to write this. What? 
Farmers across the globe are seeing greatly reduced yields from their crops. Son of a bitch. Oh, you know, now we can lower the... No, no, actually, no, we can't. There we go. 1% tax. That's not bad, right? You all okay with 1% tax? You are overcrowded. Really? You're not even full yet. There we go. Okay, you... Head there. Ah! You guys. Alright, so we have another longbow and another maybe. You can stay up there. So we have three longbows sitting out here, but the only reason why we aren't over our command point limit is because we're sitting at a planet with a station. So if we move out, then there, yeah, double. So there's one more. Yeah. What? What? <clears throat> hmm. These should all be Corvettes. What are you doing? Alright, we arrived at the subspace anomaly in many ways. It appears to be some sort of wormhole, except that our ships and probes have been repulsed from the event horizon. Hmm, what is abundantly clear is that the science fueling this phenomenon is well beyond our ability to understand it. We'll need a dedicated research team to study this effect if we ever... Okay. So is that like a... Um... Yep, study dimensional rift. Okay. Alright, uh, speaking about science, let's go back to the Rothy system. Our home system. Can I select the planet? There we go. And we will build, I guess we'll build these. I guess. And after we build that, we'll be devoted back to science again. How about that? Hmm. Build that. Evening two. All right, we need to assign that hero. Um, we'll build that. Oh, we have a lot of stuff to build here. Infantry base, star base, pollution, bank. About that. Right. Um. Leaders. Assign. How do we assign? Hmm. Do I launch you? And then move you into this fleet? Oh. We have a food shortage. Mmm. Not good. Out in two. Mm, yeah, no farming. That's kind of a bad thing. Oh, uh, we have a surplus, but we don't have enough freighters to do it. Because now we're using a freighter for this guy. It said he could be assigned to the fleets. Um... Go up because I don't want these guys killing you. I guess we can do this. Hopefully these Corvettes are enough to take it out. I have no idea. I mean, I didn't really get to see how good the Corvettes were in the fight against those masters, because, well, I mean, I wasn't really paying attention to them. Okay. Because all we have is, what, like a... It's like a flat cannon? Is that all that's in here? One Vulcan cannon? Ooh. 
But they're all about the forward facing damage. The thing is though, these guys can't exactly maneuver behind them. They're not that fast. We have no power to use this um, power to shields ability. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We're slowly chewing away at the armor. Do you have missiles? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Alright. Most of that's weapons are destroyed. It's been slightly neutered. Ooh, 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 ooh. Turn, turn if you can, buddy. I have no power to boost your shields. My free Corvette that I spent like a turn making. No. I think we need to go back to the drawing board with these Corvettes. Originally, I designed them to just kind of escort the bigger ships and provide some kind of anti-fighter support, but these aren't. These aren't gonna do it. Yeah, look at that. Destroy those modules. Yeah. Oh, this guy does. Yeah, we destroyed his um, power reserves. He can't even fire at all. I mean, maybe he can fire his missiles, but maybe he's out of, out of ammo. I don't know. Look at this fight. So the shields came back online because I do see the little aura around them. Anyway, to see that that guy fires. Yeah. Alright, cool. So the shields do come back on their own. I, I thought they would, but so far in combat we've been always under fire and they haven't been able to just kind of regenerate by themselves. I like the shields. I don't know if there's enough room to like put a... Yeah, we couldn't put a fusion cannon on this, could we? There's not enough room for that. Maybe. Put the fusion cannon on in the front. We... Yeah, we could put power into the sides. Yeah, we could do that. We just all go, like, all fusion... You know, all fusion race. The fusion seems to be doing pretty good. Plus, I was hoping for a better sound from this gun. Like a do 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 That's just a peep. That's like a paintball gun. Doesn't even sound impressive. Yeah, get destroyed. Yeah, dun 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 dun. We lost one, but that's okay.
Hello! You know what would be great? If you tried us your automated factory technology, and it would be really the opposite of that if you did it. <laughs> I like these guys. 1800, and we need... You need to be 25%, I don't know. Well, we'll make a bigger deal, but you gotta give more too. What about these disruptor cannons? The energy is infused into a medium, typically a gas. Uh, energy bleed up over time. Disruptor cannons operate by... Okay. Do they do anything special? It's just like an upgraded laser cannon? This is much more effective at close ranges than a long. Hmm. Maybe I want that more. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I can offer more. We can give you... I mean, if I'm going to be getting Disruptor Cannon... Uh, hmm. I don't want to give you Mass Drivers. Oh, shoot. Oh, we can't. Ah. This damn tolerance level. 25% to industrial output. Increase maximum colony population by two. Uh, I mean, we can do that. Oh, that's 1800. <sighs> Mm. That's three thousand. I don't, I don't even really want those though. The cloning center, maybe. That arm is that. Ah. Uh. Uh. It's lightweight. Uh, well, kind of, it looks like. Provides the same protection as steel, but with half the mass, so that'll make our ships go faster. Yeah, I mean, that's good. I guess I'll take that. Well, uh, uh, sure. And then I can redesign our ships, and hopefully they'll be faster. Oh, uh, okay, so those guys are going back to the planet to destroy the hostile fauna. You... the Imperial Fist. Fleet self repair rate. Later's transport fabulo. Um... So are you technically assigned? Fleet Admiral, leading a fleet. Okay. Okay, so now we have a defensive bonus. That's cool. Let's send you guys back up here. Any more construction ships for these, these damn highways? Orbital Habitat at Tor. Very good. Rathi 1, we can now build a cloning center. Though you're already at 11 of 12. Mm. Mm. I may get things in the future, though. Sure. Nah, nah, that's not the top priority here. We'll leave a person working on it. How about that? So I need to get back to science stuff. Leave a person working here for that. Okay. Oh hell, we're getting disruptor cannons. Jeez, it's been so long since I've had to go do research because I've been in full war mode that I totally forgot they even had. Yeah, I could have just looked up there. Okay. Land on the planet, please. There we go. All right. So now we have four people. So I think that's just probably going to take some time. Okay. Targeting computer. 
A ship with this module installed will act three levels higher for purpose of accuracy calculations. Hmm. Hmm. The Gauss Cannon, that's... I'm assuming the Gauss Cannon is kind of like a upgrade to our um, longbow weapons, the Mass Driver. It's a huge, long-range standoff weapon that deals heavy damage. It is a multi-stage magnetic coil, subspace device. So much force that it will punch through just about anything and keep on moving. However, ener energy shields can stop it. Oh, that's its downside, eh? ECM jammer have a base range of 100 and will jam one guided weapon every two seconds per jammer. So with that, we can get rid of... Uh, you can't really get rid of point defense weapons altogether because you need them for fighters. Mm. Mm, ship module discharger. Ships that rely on heavy hitting weapons are crippled without charge capacitors. The discharger causes enemy capacitors to release their energy. Oh, okay, right. Um, huh, all those are good. There's those biospheres I wanted. Hmm. I want all this stuff. Plus 10 research. We'll grab the plus 10 research first. Because, I mean, the theory is plus 10 research is going to help all this other research. So, that's good. This is almost done. Let's, 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 let's just do this. I want to see what happens with these space elephants. All right, and I need to kill you guys. I need to kill you. And then we're going to need you guys. I don't know. Put you back up here. And I need to redesign you. Hey, look at that. We successfully called the popular, the uh, hostile fauna. Yeah. We're doing work. Alzebu 1. Mm -mm, that, mm, that doesn't really... Oh, mm -mm. If we get biospheres, that's going to be more important. So sure, we'll do that. And our other colony is over here. Sometimes, in case I don't notice, like, because there is an idle colonies button here, right? But the thing is, when I'm recording, there is a thing that you can't see, but it's right over this button. So it's really hard for me to even see if I have idle colonies at a glance, because I have another overlay over it. It's kind of annoying. Uh, what's our population here? Four of six, seven of nine, cloning center, add out in two. Yes. Okay. What is it? Ballfar Imperium. You guys, there's my listening post. Hey! <laughs> How the hero Suji came into sentience and began traveling the stars is a mystery even to her. Her people, the elephants, are among the most intelligent and emphatic creatures to rise from the human homeworld of Earth. But they are so few in number, largely due to their inability to technologically compete with humans. Suji, however, was granted cybernetic augmentations and a neural interface allowing her to rapidly assimilate the necessary knowledge. The impediment to elephant sentience was not a lack of capacity, but instead a truly alien mentality. Without ordered language, elephant intelligence remained emotional, focused on the present and unsuitable for dialogue with humans. But no more. The Uplift Project has been a success. The remaining elephant populations have been fitted with the necessary cybernetics. By and large, the elephants have been truly ecstatic to receive the upgrades. Many have become poets and singers and writers. Others, like Suji, have become scientists, and so more just want to keep on living like they have, but with the added benefit of being able to converse with one another and participate in society at large. We gain three elephant citizens who will attempt to find a home in your empire. If there is no room for them on your colonies, they'll try to join other empires. Long live the elephants! Oh my god. I just got an achievement. Uplift? We have uplifted the elephants. We have room. They will find room. I need to find... Here. Uh, does it take a while for them to settle? Where's my empire? Oh my god! <laughs> they settled on Tor, Rathi 1, and a Zealed 1. What the... <sighs> That's so great. That's truly great. I'm really happy about this. Let's go uh, examine that on our way. And I think we'll make a cut here. Yeah, let's make a cut here. So thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.